Riley here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Monday, October 2nd, 2023. Stand up for your country. Now, you may have noticed that last week I didn't cover the government shutdown and all of that because I knew it was all bogus and the government was not going to shut down. It's exactly what happened Saturday night. They came to an extension and all of that. So why didn't I cover it? Because it's boring. Because there's nothing to it. And I don't want to waste your time. What I bring you here on the No Spin News is supposed to make your life better in the sense that you know more. I don't waste time on political machinations, propaganda. I'll point it out, but, uh, you know, like every cable is, whoa, what are, there's shut down a government and this person. Ah, ah. Now, there was an interesting story there, and I'm going to do it tonight on Matt Gates, the far right Republican and, and his feuding and what he does. And we'll do that tonight. But first, a talking points memo, the Trump witch hunt. So I'm on a tour for Killing the Witches. By the way, it sold about 100,000 copies in the first six days. So thank you all. And I in the body of the interviews I'm doing on radio and television, I tell people I wrote the book because there is a modern day witch hunt, cancel culture. And that's what's involved with Trump and a lot of other people. So I wanted everybody to know the origins of the witch hunt in 1692 in Salem, Massachusetts, because it applies today. All right. So Trump today showed up in New York City to answer a civil lawsuit, no jury. All right. That the Trump organization fraudulently escalated the value of their properties when they were going for loans. All right. So the banks were given paperwork by the Trump organization that said our properties are worth this much. Please loan us this much money. And the banks did. Not all of them, but many of them. OK, so Letitia James is the attorney general of New York. And she hates Trump. So Trump finds himself in a civil courtroom on charges brought by Ms. James. Here's what the former president said. Go. No bank was affected. No bank was hurt. They don't even know why they have to be involved. And they've so testified. They can't believe that they're involved because they were paid back on time. There were no defaults. There were no problems. And that's true. There's no victim. Banks are fine. Trump organization paid the interest. So what's this all about? So we looked and see if there were any other cases like this in New York State. We can't find any. I think there probably has been. Maybe Chester Arthur brought one. But this is obviously contrived to get Trump. OK, so here's what the attorney general of New York said. My message is simple. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. And it is my responsibility and my duty and my job to enforce it. Yeah. You know, if you live in New York the way I do, 80 percent of the laws on the books here are not enforced. 80 percent. So give me a break, lady. OK. You're trying to get Trump. Now, how do we know that? It's easy for me to say. How do we know it? All right, here's a soundbite from Letitia James uh, about Trump and what she hopes to accomplish. This soundbite was given on September 6th, 2018, five years ago. Roll it. We all know that 10 years ago, he was almost bankrupt. Most domestic banks were not lending him any money. Where did he get all of the money to purchase his real estate holdings and all of his golf courses? And all of those transactions have happened here in New York City, which is why the, the next attorney general is absolutely critical. So she ran on getting him. I mean, all right, so. Now it goes to a judge. The judge decides. And the judge's name, Arthur Angoran, a vowed liberal judge. There's Arthur. Okay. 
He was a hippie back in the uh, 60s and 70s. And uh, he has already decided in a summary judgment ruling that the Trump organization defrauded the citizens of New York. Remember, this case is being brought to protect me, all right, a citizen of New York. I don't feel a threat from the Trump organization, but it, that's the, what the law is to protect the citizens of the state. So Judge Aragon said, yeah, yeah, uh, Trump, yeah, he did it. But in the body of that, here's what the judge says, quote, from 2011 to 21, the Palm Beach County Assessor praised the market value of Mar-a-Lago at between 18 million and 27.6 million. Okay, well, that's on the Palm Beach County Assessor, not Trump. Trump didn't do the assessment. Now, how much do you think Mar-a-Lago is worth? Have you been down there? Have you seen it? It's worth about between 100 and 150 million dollars. That's what the property's worth. Ask, call any real estate agent in South Florida. They'll tell you. Trump put the sale up tomorrow and get 100 to 150 million for it. So this judge, but this judge thinks the property's worth between 18 and 27 six. So of course he's gonna say that. Trump is inflating the value of his property. The judge lives in the ozone layer. Both the judge, the attorney general, the state of New York in general, want to persecute Donald Trump. Not prosecute, persecute, witch hunt. Now, I'm not Trump's lawyer, okay? I'm not trying to do that here. That's not what I am in business to do. I'm in business to present the facts so you can decide. And even if you hate Donald Trump's guts, you got to know what this is. And that's why I wrote Killing the Witches. This is a witch hunt against this man. And that's a memo. All right, Joe Biden's schedule today, nothing. I, w- I wish one time I could put up on a screen and tell you guys on the radio that Biden had spent hours looking at the border or uh, trying to uh, deal with the fentanyl issue, anything like that. I can never do that because he never does it. He never, ever delves into that area. So he met with Americans with disabilities, and then he met later on artificial intelligence and blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's all BS. He sits there. Some people tell him stuff. He nods. He signs the paper for them, take a picture, and then he goes home. Back up to the resident, takes a nap. All right, RFK Jr., Polling at about 15 percent now. So he's not going to run as a Democrat because he thinks the Democratic Party is uh, bogus and uh, he's running as an independent. So he, he's going to make that announcement today, October. No, I'm sorry. Next Monday, October 9th, he'll make that announcement. But it's already leaked out. All right. So come back to me here. We've seen enough. So there's a key question. Robert Kennedy Jr. is not going to be president of the United States. You know, I told that to Ramaswamy. Some of you get mad at me when I confront the candidates with the truth, but that's near here nor there. I have to do it. So RFK Jr. is not going to be president. But who will he hurt on his third party run? Who's he going to hurt, Biden or Trump? I think it's 50-50 because the people who support RFK Jr. are in two categories, anti-vaxxers, because he led the way that the vaccine is dangerous, and conspiracy people. RFK Jr., big, big conspiracy guy on every level. And I've known him 30 years. Uh, He he loves the conspiracies. And there are a lot of conspiracy people in America, and there are a lot of anti-vaxxers, 15% of the voters, because that's his constituency. But they're not party people. So there are some Democrats who are anti-vaxxers. There are some Republicans who are anti-vaxxers. The Democrats who are anti-vaxxers can't say that or they'll be ostracized from their party. So that's why you hear more about the Republican anti-vaxxers. But I think the conspiracy stuff is kind of equally divided right now. Um, Will he be a factor? Will RFK be a factor? He could. Depends how much money he raises. Uh, he's got to get on the ballot in all the states. And that's not going to be easy. It could. Banks are canceling law-abiding Americans because they don't like their politics. 
It's real and it's un-American. Patriots like Dr. Ben Carson, Larry Elder, John Rich, and experienced conservative bankers have started America's first cancel-proof bank called Old Glory Bank. Old Glory Bank's mission statement is very simple. It's the Constitution. They do not subscribe to ESG, only PSL, Privacy, Security, Liberty. They value faith, family, freedom, and the flag. Old Glory Bank has one location only in Oklahoma, but they have top-notch mobile banking, so they can serve customers in all 50 states. Old Glory Bank is a real FDIC-insured bank. You're insured up to $250,000 per depositor. So cancel your bank before they cancel you. Please go to oldglorybank.com, open an account today. Remember, terms and conditions apply, an equal housing lender. Go to the mail, Donna Flynn Hadges, Binghamton, New York. Why does the media ask Biden about the border? I never hear them ask, uh, especially yesterday when he had a, a news conference about the budget. Look. Biden doesn't answer any questions. You know that, okay? But his spokesperson does. And, and you know what she says every day? Border secure. No problem with the border. Ah, no problem. No problem. We're just obeying the law, asylum. Blah, 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 blah. You're never going to get an honest discussion with the Biden administration on the border, ever. Charlie Remnant, Texas, can you report that both houses simply need to pass a bill that requires President Biden to close the border? Uh, no, they can't pass a bill that says that because the federal government is in charge of um, the border policies. It's not in the purview of Congress. Immigration is a part of the executive branch. Now, they could withhold money. That's what I would do if I were Mitch McConnell and uh, McCarthy. Just don't fund any of the uh, immigration stuff. That would be chaos for a little while, but boy, that would send a signal. William, concierge member. William has direct access to me, and we're going to deal with this in a minute, this concierge stuff. Personal gain by selling influence a greater sin than a cover-up in public affairs. There will be justice for all the Biden family in the emerging crimes. Will that be with Mr. Biden still in office? Who knows? Nobody knows how this is going to come out. No, people believe what they want to believe, as you know. But I, I can't predict what's going to happen here. Donald, I don't hate Biden. I hate what he's doing and not doing to our country. I want him stopped. And that means by any legal means possible. Well, it's going to be the ballot box. Um, I don't think he's going to run. But whoever runs is going to have to get the progressive stamp. So you just can't keep putting these people in office. I mean, it's out of, out of control. Uh, Jill Russell, Knoxville, Tennessee. Bill, I watch the No Spin News every day. What is Dr. Jill's role in conjunction with the monies given to her husband and son? No idea. But she lives in two nice houses. But I have no idea. And it's not fair for me to speculate. Mark canceled. I used to love CNN News. So I wrote a column about how dishonest CNN is. It's on BillOReilly.com. Again, you don't need to be a member of anything. You can read the column. It drops every Sunday. I used to love CNN News, but when they started supporting BLM on every program, I won't watch them anymore. I also tried Fox News for a while, but their ideas were too far out there. Okay. That's why people are coming to us. They're not getting what they want on cable news. Jeffrey. Bill, what CNN did was vile. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. I hope you get even with them. I don't want to get even with them. I want to expose them. Not an honest agency anymore. Simply not. And I provide all the backup for that in the column that's posted on BillOReilly.com. Sean Whalen, Pineville, North Carolina. Um, I was hoping CNN would change for the better when Discovery took over the company. Well, it looks like CNN has not changed the same old place it's been for several years in business for the Democrats. I think that's accurate. I think that's accurate. They're in business to help the Democratic progressive movement. No doubt. In my mind, Brenda Clark, the Woodlands, Texas, last night's interview with Tucker Carlson was informative. Thank you for doing it. That's why I became a member. 
The very first week you were in business. Well, thank you, Brenda. That's so nice of you. You were open and personable. It was informable and fun to watch. That's what we try to do. We want you to have information, but we make it fun. That's like killing the witches. We're going to get an awful lot of information out of that, but it's fun. Great Halloween book. Not going to be able to put it down. Sarah Anderson, The Dales, Oregon. I spent over nine hours in a car this weekend. Perfect amount of time to listen to Killing the Witches in its entirety. As a high school history teacher, I can't thank you enough. Give me yet another book to share with my students. Excellent. I wish all teachers would do that. High school and civics teachers. Boy, Sarah, I really wish that because those urchins would read that stuff. Just finished reading Killing the Witches, says Jerry Grohn, Libertyville, Illinois. Great book. We're the addition to Killing series. I've read all 13. Way to go, Jerry. You know how much smarter you are now? <laughs> okay, so Killing the Witches in its first six days out, as we mentioned. So about 100,000 copies. We thank you all. It's on fire. Um, and uh, I just hope we can keep up the momentum. Great book. Great book to give as gifts, no doubt about that. And then um, we've got all kinds of great stuff in the BillOReilly.com store, which I'm going to tell you about in a moment. So you want to get ahead on save money this fall on gift giving. That's paramount for you because this stock market is real wobbly. Everything is wobbling now. You've got to save. Okay. And uh, word of the day, brand new word. Do not be Corey Bantic. That sounds like an actor's name, Corey Bantic. One word, C-O-R-Y-B-A-N-T-I-C. Do not be Corey Bantic when writing to me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name and town, if you wish to opine. Final thought about all the new members we have and the benefits we are going to give them in a moment. Everybody knows Chuck Norris. He's not just an action star in the movies. He's a vet, family man, big on health. Now, Chuck has spent decades of his life trying every supplement out there. Most did nothing, but a few provided dramatic changes. So Chuck Norris put them together into a drink called Morning Kick. By adding Morning Kick to his diet, Chuck says he feels better at the age of 83 than he has in years. Morning Kick combines Chuck Norris's favorite supplements into one great tasting daily drink. It's got probiotics for weight loss, prebiotics for digestion, superfoods for your muscles and joints, as well as several powerful anti-aging supplements. You'll end up with more energy, better digestion, and you'll think more clearly and feel younger. Visit mymorningkick.com slash first. That's mymorningkick.com slash first. Remember, all individuals are unique, so your results can and will vary. Okay, let's go to the final thought of the day. So we have had literally thousands of uh, new premium and concierge members, a lot of it off the uh, Carson O'Reilly interview, which you can still see if you haven't seen it. We have a little box on BillOReilly.com. You just push it and there it appears. Now, the reason I did that interview was twofold. Uh, to promote Killing the Witches, get the word out there that it was uh, a book that you might want to see. And also, there are, there's a lot of people who just don't live uh, on the Internet. Okay, they, they, they just don't put it together. Older people, primarily older Americans, but this, the word of this was going to get out, and it has. Millions and millions of people have seen the interview. Um, and I would draw attention back to what we do here, the No Spin News, BillOReilly.com. And then I, I told everybody in the interview, look, if you become a concierge member, which is inexpensive, it's not. It's a life insurance policy for you. Something goes wrong in your life, I'll tell you how to handle it. I'll give you how you so I would handle it. And you get direct access to me. So every letter we get is answered within 24 hours, pretty much. And uh, I got a great guy on it, Nick Biardi, a really good producer. And, and he, he's like a magician, this guy. So anyway, we get a lot of heartbreaking mail, people in circumstances way beyond their control. We try to steer them into places that can help them. Okay. But in addition to that, 
concierge and premium members on Bill O'Reilly get massive discounts on all of our stuff. So now we're into October and boy, we'll be at Christmas time. It's warp speed. You know it. And I just did the smart life about gouging people are gouging you. And that's not going to stop. You're going to be paying three, four times uh, what things are worth, but not with us. OK, so we beginning next week, I'm going to lay out we're going to have for premium and concierge members tremendous array of different gifts that you can give people that they're going to like. All right. It's not like a tie where eh, I could go either way or you send them over some eggnog. And I, yeah, yeah. OK, these gifts, but they're, we're keeping the price down. I mean, we got we got a, a special now on BillOReilly.com where you can get, I think it's Killing the Legends and Killing Crazy Horse, another killing book, and a T-shirt for unbelievable amount of very low price. So what you do is you keep the books you want or you give the books away, you keep the shirt or give it away, whatever it may be. And our stuff is good, by the way. And if you have any trouble with it, you know, you come to us and we'll, we'll make it right. So what we're in business to do, and I told this to Tucker Carlson is, I don't need any more money, all right? I, I don't have to do this, but I'm trying to use my power and my influence to help as many human beings as I can, all right? I'm trying to buy my way into heaven because <laughs> you never know how that's gonna go, all right? So I'm here to do as much good as I can. I think that's why I was put on a planet. And uh, this is an excellent way to do it because we have hundreds of thousands of people now who are coming on in and uh, we can help them if they need help. So that's what this is all about. It's a little confusing, but not so much. And you go into the website. We want you to enjoy BillOReilly.com. We have great, fun stuff. We have uh, quizzes and all of that for you. Uh, but we also have serious stuff where, you know, if you're a concierge member and you get sick or you get got a problem, we can, can't solve the problem for you. You don't have a magic wand to do that. But in every state, I can kind of steer you into people who can help. Uh, and in some places, we, we do directly intervene when we feel that somebody's really getting smoked. But we can't do that, you know, on a regular basis. But we, if, if I feel somebody's really getting hosed, you know, I'll go to bed. So anyway, we welcome all of the thousands of new BillOReilly.com premium and concierge members. You're going to enjoy the service. We've got lots and lots of things for you. Um, and we hope that those of you who are members will take the time to check it out. And you're smart enough to know whether you need it or not, right? So thank you for watching and listening for to the No Spin News tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow.